I don't know why this place is so incredible to me. I guess because after you walk through the mounds and mounds of grass, you pop out and there it is. I cannot find anything online about this house other than the owners. And they live in this state that's MI. Look at that spider. Oh my goodness, hold on, look at that. Huh. What is that? Uh, uh, uh. Try to tell a I had to clear up a few things. It was break a stick, make my camera work again, and come back in. Yeah, the owners are in the state that starts, that has an MI. Is that Michigan? Or is that Miami? I'm just kidding. But look at it. It looks a little more empty than last time. It's been a year since we've been here. If you look at the old video, it was Bayou House, I believe is what I put. And uh, I don't know why this thing fascinates me so much. Last time I came, it was in the winter and it just had some beautiful greens all around it. Not turnip greens, collards. There's a piece of a shovel, a generic e-tool, if you will. Some of the fascinating things may be the mosquitoes. So the question is, if you remember this house from last time, I said it had a thousand dollar toilet in it. And it did. That toilet, people who want old timey stuff like that in their homes, Mosquitoes are fish. Anyway, I know I keep stopping talking. But the question is, because it looks like it's kind of been pilfered a little bit now. Maybe not. I don't want too much light where it absolutely blinds you. But I thought I'd stop and look around again. One more time. Because eventually it's just going to fall to the ground. And it'll be gone. So my, I'm wondering... See, I don't remember if there was a mantle here before. So now I gotta go back and watch the other video. It's, I think I put Bayou House and Thousand Dollar Toilet inside, is what I wrote. Okay, that mantle's still there. Maybe they just fall down and disintegrate on their own. Disintegrate. Everything was integrated and then it stopped being integrated. The toilet is still there. But somebody came in and intentionally busted the back of it. I can't believe that. I'm only fascinated by that toilet. Because if you look up Douglas Leader, the name right there. It was an expensive toilet. Not then. And not now. But last year. Why is that so incredible to me? And why would somebody come in here and just bust it? Oh, look at that. They tried to steal that, whatever that was. Standard A&O works. Patent applied for. You know, I don't understand it. Why just break it? I gotta look at that. I gotta try to turn it back around. And look at it normal without so much light. So that would have been it is heavy cast iron. So now we gotta look that up. Standard ANO works patent applied for. Why break it? Why is that so disappointing to me? 
And then I was actually going to try and contact the owner and see if they'd sell me that toilet. I know, you think it's goofy. And I'll tell you what's even goofier than that. <laughs> there is a YouTube channel about toilets. How well some of them flush. How many circulations it makes. Is that right? I don't know a lot of Americana Toileana lingo. I need to brush up on it before I start pretending like I'm an expert, don't I? So, when you lived here, there might have been a, what, a cabinet right there? Maybe a refrigerator? Were there refrigerators then? There might have been refrigerators then. And that's where they put their food. <laughs> food for the mosquitoes. You know, my bride asked me the other day, because we, uh, we were out somewhere. She gets absolutely destroyed by mosquitoes. I can get bit by 500, and it won't leave a mark. I mean, not a spot on me and I'm not exaggerating not a mark I could have 50 of them on my legs now some of the bigger ones may sting when they sting me or bite me or put their little probe inside me but they don't leave a mark she whelps up immediately There's old bottles under there. And a big nasty drop of water. That's a modern beer bottle. Big nasty drop of water just fell on my head. I saw bottles under there. So we're thinking it's her blood type. I don't know what my blood type is. Hers is like OB. GYN or something like that. I don't know blood types, but oh, look around over here. There's a bottle. Oh, there's a spider in a web. Why are there so many spiders in this state? Oh, there's another one of those crazy ad spiders. Oh, ho, ho. okay, we're here to look at the house. That's just a disappointing bummer to me. Somebody said, hey, let's go to that old house over there in the woods and uh, it's off the side of the road and let's, let's break everything we can find. Oh, that toilet looks cool. Let's break it. I sound like an old man, don't I? Those young kids these days, they ain't got no respect for nothing. This is taking me a little while because I'm trying to get past the spiders. So how do you think this house is? I know some of you guys and gals are uh, experts on building stuff and restoring stuff and renovating stuff. Well, I see that's a cool sink to me. It's probably iron. And that's the reason it's not broken. I don't know. You tell me. Are there any spiders under there? I'm disappointed in the broken toilet. I hear one rooster in the distance. And a car about to go by. I don't know what's going wrong with my camera, but it keeps glitching and turning off all by itself. I don't know. So you like the curtains, what do you think? You think they're homemade? And then they cut the center part out. Look at that roach that didn't fare too well. It 
So the mantle that used to be right there is right there. This house is right next to a road, obviously, because the cars are going by, but you cannot see it. I look in every little piece and patch of woods there is for things to show y'all. Yeah, I'm still broken hearted over the toilet. The Douglas leader. Moments that can't be replaced. So let's go look out front again. Maybe it's the absolute thick humidity out here. There's broken glass and bottles. I guess people just pull over on the side of the road and just break stuff. I thought I was the only one who could see this place. Guess not. Oh my goodness. That was almost in my face. Who? And that. You know, somebody spent a lot of time. Look at that. Look at how nice the little pieces of wood are laid in there. Just on the corners, they do little triangles. And then it's flat. And that spider. Just minding its own business. Waiting on me to walk through it so it can bite me in the face. So I want you to see it from the road to see if you can see it. Sure, you know it's there. But are you sure? See it's starting to disappear in it. Okay, so you can kind of see it. Anyway, I want to show you one year later. Thanks for watching the video.